For Complex News, I'm Hanuman Welch. Yet another White House aide is stepping down. David Sorensen, a member of President Donald Trump's speechwriting team, has resigned amid claims of domestic abuse, according to multiple Friday night reports. Sorensen's ex-wife claimed in a bombshell Washington Post expose that Sorensen, quote, ran a car over her foot, put out a cigarette on her hand, threw her into a wall, and grasped her menacingly by her hair when they were alone on their boat in remote waters off of Maine's coast, an incident she said left her fearing for her life. According to the Washington Post, Sorensen denied all the claims in a statement he released to the media. Quote, I have never committed violence of any kind against any woman in my entire life. In fact, I was the victim of repeated physical violence during our marriage, not her. Spokesman Raj Shah said in an official statement that the White House knew about the allegations long before the Washington Post reached out about them. Before we were contacted by the media, we learned last night that there were allegations. We immediately confronted the staffer, he denied the allegations, and he resigned today. Earlier this week, another staffer, Rob Porter, stepped down over similar claims. White House staff defended Robert Porter, saying his abuse claims from both of his ex-wives. When a photo of the black eye of one of his ex-wives surfaces, the White House changed their tune, saying they were concerned about the allegations at that point. Still, Trump offered support for Porter, saying, quote, he found out about it recently and I was surprised by it, but we certainly wish him well and it's a tough time for him. Mike Sorensen, Porter has also maintained that all allegations are untrue. The president appeared to reference the domestic abuse scandals in a tweet early Saturday morning, saying, quote, is there no such thing any longer as due process? That's all for now. We'll have more on this story as it continues to develop. For everything else, subscribe to Complex on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Hannah Welch.